of attraction. And that's fine. What I want to talk to you today about is how the law of attraction can help your personal development, your personal growth. So I'm both a law of attraction coach and I'm a certified high performance coach. So I'm working in that woo woo realm. And I'm also working in the very concrete area of of personal development, getting results. As a certified high performance coach, we're very interested in helping you get results and helping you step into your best self to succeed above your standard norms over the long term while maintaining positive, healthy relationships and creating the kind of life and life balance you want. Me personally, I'm always looking to help people live fully and to achieve their potential and their purpose. So here's what I know. I know that if you apply some of the thoughts or some of the principles of the law of attraction to your work in the area of personal development, of your personal growth, you're going to see a faster result. In particular, when we talk about personal development, almost every type of personal development or personal growth coach is gonna talk to you about your thoughts, what goes on up here. As a high performance coach, I'm always talking about that, about mastering your psychology. In the world of of the law of attraction, one of the foundational concepts there is that our thoughts are a have an energy, they have a a creative ability, an ability to attract. That's because thoughts are energy, right? Your brain is putting out energy and energy, like energy, attracts like energy. I don't know if I said that correctly, but you get the idea. So this, if you have positive energy, you're gonna attract things that are positive. If you have negative energy, you're gonna attract things that are negative. Think about getting out of bed on the wrong side of the bed, right? You get up, you're in a bad mood right away, and the rest of your day goes to hell, right? That's the law of attraction, you know, in action. So we know when we work in personal development that if you are thinking negatively, you're going to have a hard time creating something positive in your life. And personal development, personal growth is all about changing ourselves, right? Changing who we are um, to step into that best self, to step into the type of person we want to be and know we can be, and then in the process to create the life we want, right? So the first thing we have to manage are our thoughts, our thoughts. Also, the law of attraction says that if that um, what you focus on expands. So wherever your thoughts are, that's what you're going to attract more of into your life, okay? It's going to just expand from there. Beyond that, the law of attraction asks you to, um, or people who, who tell you how to use the law of attraction consciously and deliberately will say you have to get clarity on what you want. You also have to have clarity on what you've been thinking. Most of our thoughts are unconscious. So you have to have clarity on your thoughts and on what you want to create in your life or within yourself, right? So you have to have clarity. So as a high performance coach, clarity is one of the foundational elements we discuss foundational habit to to develop more clarity. Because with clarity, you can make decisions. You can decide to do things, right? You can decide what you want, who you want to be, what you want to experience, what you want to have. So we have to have clarity, okay? So clarity has to do with your thoughts. Now, the next thing we, we want to focus on is energy. So when we teach law of attraction, we talk about having positive energy. You don't want to be negative and um, have low, low uh, emotions. Um, so negativity comes from negative thoughts, but it generates energy in your body that is negative and low. If you're sad, you're gonna find yourself lethargic, right? You're gonna, not gonna have the kind of energy that is, is good. So, so you, if you wanna create something good and positive in your life, you have to have energy that aligns with that. You have to have good and positive energy, okay? So we want to work on energy. As a high performance coach, I'm always telling people to generate the energy they want, whether that's emotional energy, whether it's physical energy, whether it's mental energy, whether it's spiritual energy. So we have to think about that. And excuse the pun. (laughs) So our thoughts create emotions and those emotions affect our physical energy as well. So we want to be constantly focused on creating that positive high energy. So you align your energy with what you want. 
If all you did was change your energy from negative to positive, you'd have an easier time attracting what you want. You'd also have an easier time becoming the person you want to become. Because also, that energy is going to lead to action. If we don't feel like we have energy, if we have low um, or negative emotions that are at thought, and then emotions that are causing us to have low energy and negative energy, we can't attract what we want. We have to align with what we want. And just by feeling better, by feeling good, by feeling happy, by feeling grateful, you begin to align with that, okay? Now, when you have that energy, as I said, you can take action. And action is a big part of this. A lot of people who talk about the law of attraction don't talk about action. In high performance, we talk about being courageous, and that is taking bold action. Okay, so you can't drum up courage. You have to be bold. You have to go out and act boldly. So you need to take action towards what you want, towards being the person you want to be in this case, right? Because we're talking personal growth. You have to take action towards that. You have to begin showing up as that person, dressing as that person, doing the kind of things the person you want to become would do. Okay, if the person you want to become is wealthy, then how would you dress? How would you behave? Would you handle your money differently, right? So we have to take different action, bold, different action. And in the process of all this, we want to visualize, okay? So actually, once we have clarity on what we, who we want to become, we can then generate the energy of that type of person, and we can visualize ourselves being that person. We can begin to visualize ourselves being in the world as a successful writer, as a um, wealthy person. We can visualize ourselves in, a, in the relationship we want to have. We can visualize ourselves um, getting up and painting every day. Whatever it is that you, you want as part of your experience of who you want to become. Really important to think about this in 2020. Right? But so you want to visualize this because the brain doesn't know the difference. And when you visualize yourself already having what you want, being the person you want to be, and feeling that, that gratitude and those emotions that go with having what you want and being the person you want, then the body responds. The body says, oh, that's who you are already. Athletes know visualization is, if you do a period of visualization, it's almost equal to going out and practicing. Visualize for 15 minutes, practice for 15 minutes. Doesn't matter, because your body is firing all the same emotions, thoughts, <clears throat> um, muscles, everything. So when you think about this from a personal growth perspective, I want you to get clear on who you want to be. We're just you know, entering the new decade, new year. Who do you want to be? Get clarity on that. Develop the thoughts that go with that. Like actually think it through. Who do you want to be? Why do you want to be that person? What does that look like? Get really specific about who you want to become. In high performance, we talk a lot about choosing words choosing the words that will um, describe the person you want to become so that then you can step into that, you can live into that every day. So how do we start with that? We get clear about who we want to become, okay? How you're going to show up, the type of person you want to be. And then you want to generate good energy. You want to generate positive energy, grateful energy, and then add into that visualization. Add into it a visualization of yourself already being that person that you want to become and what that would feel like. Think about what that, try to generate those emotions, that energy, right, of, of what that would be like. And that should be positive, high energy, grateful energy that you have, that you've become the person that you've dreamed of becoming, the person you knew you would be, could become. You're moving towards fulfilling your potential, right? When you visualize that, everything starts to, to come together and it gets easier for you to go out and take the action, to take bold action, to be courageous and take bold action towards becoming that person. Maybe that means sending out a bunch of resumes or submitting a bunch of query letters to magazines or sitting down every day to write the book or um, going and learning about investing. Doesn't matter what it is, but take some action that's in alignment with who you want to become. 
So you're going to get clear on who you want to become. You're going to align your energy with who you want to become. You're going to visualize being that person, and then you're going to take bold action in the world. Okay? Overriding all of this is a desire to be that person because it doesn't just benefit you, it benefits others. From a mystical perspective, if you can say, I want to be this person or I want to have something, with it being of benefit to more people than you, things will also go better because in this world, we're supposed to be of service. So we, want, we may want to gain things and that's okay. We may want to have a lot of money, but we want it in order to help others, not just to help ourselves. So think about that as sort of the overarching reason to become who you want to become. I know for me, if I were to become wealthier, it would be so I could help my children, so I could help my husband, so I could help uh, people in need, that I could give to charities, give to people I know who are struggling financially. It wouldn't just be about money for me. Okay, so think about that too, very important. So that was a lot, there's way more to say about this, but for today, I think that's enough. So get clarity, energy, and courage to move forward, to be who you wanna be, and visualize being that person now. Watch what happens. Your personal growth is gonna skyrocket. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think, and tell me about your experiences, okay? I'd really like to hear. And by the way, um, you can apply for a free certified high performance coaching session with me, a strategy session. Um, you can do that by filling out the application above. Just click the application's not above, but click on the link above. It takes you to the application and you can um, apply for a free uh, 60 or 90 minute strategy session with me. We can talk about your personal development, your personal growth in the new year. Okay, some of the topics we'll talk about are clarity our energy, our courage, okay? So fill out the application and get on my calendar for 2020 and let's help you step into your best self this year. I'm Nina Amir, I'm the Inspiration to Creation Coach. As I said, I'm a high performance coach, also an author coach, law of attraction coach, and I would love to help you make 2020 your best year ever. So until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.